Good morning, everyone. Let us start our usual stand-up. Today is uh, September 24, and in the last uh, weekend which we spent together, uh, the last Friday. So let us talk about your progress here. How was your progress? And just update us where were you, what was your doing yesterday, and what's your plan for today? And how confident are you for the Saturday's submission? Short update from anybody who wants to start. As usual, we expect you to, expect to share your progress in our daily stand-up, so just uh, I, I need somebody who can start. Okay, Devora. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Uh, this week has been really tough. Uh, as I said yesterday, I was trying to figure out uh, the data, and I think I have managed to get some grasp of it. Uh, so today I'll be debugging many errors that I've been facing when connecting to Airflow and uh, creating uh, models using dbt. Okay, so are you ready to for the what for Saturday submission? I hope I get stuff done by the deadline, but I'm not really sure. I'm not confident because there, there's just so much to do. Okay. So anyone else? Thank you, Deborah. Hello. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, for my side yesterday, uh, I tried to look at uh, Airflow and Docker, in, in, uh, using Airflow with Docker. I also attended the tutorial, the uh, Docker one, and I got stocks also. Uh, I've gained some knowledge regarding Docker, but I haven't uh, been able to figure out how to make Airflow run on my computer with uh, the resources that I have. So at the evening, I switched my focus to dbt, and now I'm working on dbt. So by today, I try to finish dbt, making uh, necessary transformations using dbt, and just trying to create a dashboard using Redash. Uh, I'm not sure about the airflow, but for others, I think uh, I hope I'll be able to finish by the deadline. And about the uh, data, I'm still oh, okay. Continue. Uh, like, w what's the issue with this airflow? Or like, can you share us if there is anybody who can solve it? Then let they will help you. Okay, it's like the uh, Airflow, it, I think it's like, there's like six or something like services, the web server, the workers, the Redis, and like the Postgres, these services, and they need uh, a lot of memory when you run at them. And uh, my memory is like 4 GB, 3.8 like that. So when I try it on the terminal, it gives like a warning, you don't have enough resource, it, it at least needs 4 GB memory, like that. So it's like a resource problem, not about oh, okay. mm -hmm. an error like that. It can uh, run. Have you tried the, the like Docker Slim or the one which suggested by Abbal yesterday? Uh, I I haven't been able to successfully install using uh, without. Uh, the Docker one. I tried some beep things, but it uh, it didn't work. There was like an error. So I just uh, instead of uh, spending too much time, 
let me try both let me try to figure out the transformation in the dashboard then if i have time i will get back on it on saturday that's my, my plan okay that's good so thank you Zalana. anyone who wants to go next Elias. morning everyone good morning how are you I'm doing well. So, like, when I look back into this week's challenge, like, I've spent most of my time trying to fix bugs. Uh, those bugs mm -hmm. happen, like, when you use multiple tools together. Always I was getting some error, and, like, trying to fix that takes me more than three hours. So, like, now I have, like, a working thing, but I still am not sure if I'll be able to finish on time. Okay. Have you managed to dockerize everything or? Still yeah, there? but I, I didn't add Redis, but the others, MySQL and Airflow, I've been able to dockerize them. Okay, good. Anyone who wants uh, help on this stuff, you can contact Elias as well. Uh, next. Who wants to go next? Who wants to go next? Mm. Okay, Daniel. Hello, good morning. Good morning. So this week's challenge has been uh, uh, challenging for me, uh, uh, especially like Elias said, work, uh, making the different tools to work together has been difficult for me. I was getting many bugs and for now I have successfully uh, dockerized the MySQL and the um, the MySQL and the Airflow and the DVT, but as I said, I have not added Redash yet. Uh, and also now I'm trying to load the text data to the MySQL database using MySQL operator in the Airflow, but I'm getting data truncated error and I'm trying to figure out what that uh, the cause of that bug in trying to solve it? Okay, so uh, I think uh, you're confident to submit like the Saturday submission. <laughs> uh, I'm not confident. I don't think so because uh, uh, I didn't integrate the DBT into my Docker, uh, and also the uh, I didn't integrate the DBT with the Airflow. And also, I have not started the Redash part. Uh, I don't know what to expect from the Redash, if it will take me many hours or not, because I didn't uh, start it yet. So I don't think I'm confident to finish everything for Saturday, but I will try my best. Okay, that's good. Uh, anyone who wants to go? Daniel, just a question for you and also for the others. I'd be curious, <clears throat> challenge being finished or not, could you comment on um, how you feel about what you're learning? Okay. Uh, honestly speaking, from this week's challenge, what I gained most is uh, how to dockerize uh, many tech tools to make them work together. I have gained uh much more skill on the dockerization part uh, and also i can say for the airflow but uh, for dbt i have not yet uh, get that confidence on being comfortable on using the tool because uh, i have not yet uh, 
implemented that part fully, but the dockerization part and the airflow part, uh, I have gained a better experience on using those tools. Great. I mean, one thing just in terms of the philosophy from our side, I think everyone should recognize that it is it is a lot to get done in one week, but hopefully after this week's challenge, even if you can't independently deliver this when you're working, at least it gives you enough experience to ask the right questions. So what we don't want is that people show up and they're completely lost. So just keep that in the back of your minds. The uh, Having worked on this, it should give everyone the ability to ask your employer or your manager the right set of questions. Okay. Thank you, Arun, for that. So who wants to go next or to share their uh, progress? Okay, to end then, Jermin. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Um, okay. Hi. Yes. Um, so I've, this week, I would say I've been able to do the DPT and the airflow and also practice uh, my SQL properly. But my Docker, I've not really, I've not so I hope I'll be able to figure that out today. And since Elia said he has been able to do is, I think I'm going to reach out to him because I don't really understand. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I just lost your voice. Your voice. Oh, okay. I said uh, that I've been able to figure out DBT and Airflow and MySQL, but Docker, I've not been able to do that. Well, I wanted to do it today, but since Elias said uh, he has figured it out, I'm going to reach out to him. Okay. Okay. That's... That's... Jermaine? Yeah, good morning, everyone. Good morning. How yeah, I'm doing great. And for my side, oh. I, I can't say um, I'm proud of my progress. I'm not proud of my progress at all because I'm facing some problems from my computer. I'm experiencing some malfunctioning from my computer and it's been difficult to, to operate some tasks and sometimes it restarts while doing something so i'm trying to do what i can with this but i'm planning to buy a new one after these trainings but with this computer i'm not confident about my progress in these last weeks. Okay. Yes, but 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 for real, I, I'm I'm getting something. Like in the case of learning, I'm trying to see like what to be learned, but I'm jealous of not having the. Uh, like a real resource to to use my 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 courage of studying like I'm facing problems from my computer and that blocks me in a way I want to progress so I will keep progressing with this but after getting a new one computer I hope I will gain more yeah that's what what I'm facing now. Okay, so what was your experience like from the week's challenge? Yeah, I was this, computer issue. Yeah, it was a good challenge as I I I, te I took data engineering career, so I was even excited to go through this project. Even it's a good one because it gives out a a way path or a starting point to be a data engineer. So I'm interested in this challenge, even though I'm not performing well, 
but it's a, it's something to focus on. Okay. So yes. keep focusing. Yeah, I will try, even though it's not easy for me. Okay. Who wants yes. to go next? Not nice. Okay, so uh, thank you, Mahlet, and everybody. So my progress so far is... Uh, I was able uh, to run the DBT and uh, Fumbani sent me a really nice blog. So I hope everybody can check it out. I'm linking it in here. It gives like, uh, it's a nice blog. So I recommend everybody check it out. And after can that, share it on the rocket chart? Sorry. I did share it on the rocket chart on the resources, but I don't think many people have seen it. So I'm shared it in here. So it's a nice introduction to DBT. So the other one is uh, I was able to run my database with Postgres and connect it to DBT. And uh, I, yeah, that's what I did. And uh, I installed uh, Airflow without a Docker. I haven't started using Docker yet, uh, even though I have attended yesterday's uh, tutorial, but I haven't implemented it yet. So, but I was able to execute uh, Airflow with dbt and everything uh, and I'm gaining knowledge and I'm learning so I have a good understanding about uh, dbt and I guess Airflow too but the localization part I need to work on it and also the redash visualization that too and final thing is like getting the right data is uh, still a pain and I'm asking for friends and everything that's my progress so far Okay. Thank you, Nathaniel. So, who wants to go next? Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, like, uh, uh, from yesterday, before yesterday, I was trying to work on Airflow and DBT, like working on different environments. And the problem was that I was not able to run uh, dbt using DAG files or a starter dbt file. So the thing is, uh, I need to change the, the schema to be docker, fully dockerized one. So, mm -hmm. like with the help of uh, Elias and Daniel, I was able uh, to run, uh, like, to work Airflow and dbt and database together to dockerize them. So, the first part was dockerizing using. PostgreSQL and then Airflow and DBT, and then next mm -hmm. phase was like since we are we, we are need we need to work on MySQL and change the database to MySQL. And mm -hmm. The progress is I have been able to uh, like configure Airflow, then the MySQL to work in a single uh, like Docker file with a single run. So the next phase will be integrating DBT and working on the models. And uh, I think the link that Nathaniel has shared is like I'm trying to see that one, and it's good. I will go through mm -hmm. that one and try to figure out some of the things. And uh, the first, the other part that's missing is like I was able to load the data using uh, SQL Alchemy before. And now mm -hmm. I need to do that using Airflow. So that process will take some time. So I need to work on that loading the data using bug scripts and working on the dbt part and the final part will be redash so i'm learning a lot like gaining insights uh, reading uh, different things and interacting with people's uh, friends so uh, that's a good progress but i'm not really confident that i will deliver the tools that's needed at the end so this is my bit thank you okay thank um so far we are progressing good so uh, who wants to next? Okay, not nice. Yeah, hey guys, uh, how are you? How are you? I'm good. Yesterday I've been working on uh, dockerization. Uh, I also uh, attend the 
presentation on the dockerization. After that, I decorate the airflow. And basically, uh, today I'm going to DBT part. I'm not good at DBT, so I have to look at that and work on the DBT part. Okay. Thank you. Have you, like, can you share us your experience, like your, the skills you gain from this challenge? Yeah, regarding on the skill, I have, I have not much on the Docker. So yesterday presentation was good for me. And uh, I also look for some tutorials on the Dockerization. Uh, regarding on the skill, I have good, uh, I'm getting good skills. But on the DBT, I have also tapped on my skills. So I have to improve that. And uh, I, look, I want to work on that. So who wants to go next? I think we have time, so anyone who wants to share his update, his progress. Well, maybe I can ask you a question about the guest talks yesterday. Any feedback on the guest talks? Should we invite them back next year? Are there any of the three guest talks speakers that we should absolutely invite back? It's pretty quiet here, guys. We have, we have a week left. I know everyone's tired, but let's use the opportunity to just, uh, let's talk. You can type your answer, you can unmute, put up your hand, do, turn on your video and do sign language, whatever you want. Are there any speakers that we should definitely invite back next year of the three that we had this week? Yeah, I feel like I'm talking to myself here. Okay, okay but uh, Dalana. We can't hear you, Zalam. I don't know if you're speaking. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. OK. Uh, I feel like you, you should definitely invite uh, Nico. Uh, it was a great insight yesterday. And uh, yeah, Carl, I, I think yesterday's guest was Carl. Carl, I, I'm not sure about Christ the name. Christoph. Christoph. No, no, I mean, not yesterday, uh, Wednesday. I'm sorry. Ben. Ben. OK, Ben, yeah. Uh, but the last guest talk, I'm not sure about, because uh, I think I couldn't relate to our projects here. Like, it was about AJI, and I was a little bit you know, yeah. maybe it was a very corporate presentation. Much. It was a very corporate yeah. presentation. Yeah, I couldn't relate much, so the, I don't know what to feel about that. But I felt good about the others. Okay. Any other feedback? Anyone else? Go ahead. Okay. Um, I think I agree with Zelalem. Uh, the last speaker, it was not really relating, but the other speaker yesterday, I really enjoyed the session. And also the speaker on Wednesday, I really enjoyed the session too. Okay. Okay. Any other? Can you? I think we have time for one or two. 
Just any counterpoints? Did anyone, did anyone find it interesting? Sorry to interrupt. Um, I just want to know if there's anyone who found this view of where uh, if Infineon's at the cutting edge or they're going in one direction, did anyone find that viewpoint at least interesting? Any new ideas there? OK, so we have two people. Dwayne, if you want to speak, you can just unmute and go ahead. Okay, I, it was interesting, like talking about AI. I'm just saying, like, it was not. Re I I didn't really relate to data engineering. It's not like the talk itself was interesting. I'm just saying, it didn't really like. I didn't really find it like it was not what I needed yesterday. Like, I preferred. I would have preferred to have uh, the first speaker like twice instead of uh, instead of the last speaker. So like the talk was interesting. It's just like it's not. What, I I needed at that point. I don't know. It was interesting okay. talking about uh, the data you get, uh, training the models and stuff. But it was just not the right time, I guess. Okay, thank you. That's all from my side. I mean, in general, if you have any, if anyone has any feedback, I'd love to hear it so that we can plan better for next year or next batch, I should say. Thank you, Arun, and let's wrap up. If there is any, uh, any burning issue, just try to unmute your mic and let us discuss, or else. Let us finish. <laughs> everyone, this is, it's, everyone looks so exhausted. I can't see anyone, but I'm just imagining people lying down in their pajamas in front of their computers, hoping that, <laughs> waiting for us to go away. <laughs> so, okay. thank you everyone so, for joining us today. Is there an AMA today? Yatiana, yeah, is there an AMA? I don't know. I don't think so. I didn't hear from her. Okay. Do you have any schedule? Like, I think they have. Uh, she will inform them. She probably, yeah. <clears throat> okay, yeah, everyone, and last announcement from my side, everyone has seen the graduation time next Friday, uh, 1.30 p.m. So we're hoping that it fits with everyone. Uh, we know some people attend mosque on Friday, so this should be, we tried to plan it for afterwards. So 1.30 UTC. So looking forward to having everyone there. Videos on, nice clothes on, and uh, we'll be in touch during the week with some interesting uh, with the schedule and what's what's up next. Okay, thank you, Arun. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.